Hi guys, welcome to the channel and my name is Vishnu Kiriyat and today we are going to make a custom fog effect solely inside DiamG Resolve. So, before I get in the tutorial, let's face it, what is the advantage of making a custom fog effect and you know, downloading it from the internet. There are tons of green screen replacement and a fog overlay effects inside the internet. So what is the main difference of making a custom fog effect and the normal you know downloaded fog effect okay actually it's a really big difference you will see when the tutorial is about to end and i will explain on the way let's get into it so for reference i am taking this simple video as a reference so that we can really learn what is actually happening so if you see i don't really need the whole video so i'm just taking this portion where yeah this portion is more than enough for me so i'm just dragging into my timeline and you can see this is the portion that we are going to make a custom fog effect inside damage resort so in order to make a custom fog effects for the first thing that you need to do is the first thing that you need to have in mind to do any kind of effects or text animation or any kind of complicated effects that is that you have to go to the fusion page so I could make a custom fog effect inside this video by just going to the fusion page and doing everything here but I cannot really make a copy of this really easily I could make a copy but I'm going for this technique so that you guys also know what is the use of this this template known as fusion composition yes so we are going to get help from the fusion composition so fusion composition is nothing but an, a null object or a adjustment node which can be manipulated inside fusion so putting it in the simplest word it is nothing but a plain slate or a plain paper which can be drawn inside fusion page only we cannot copy this effect inside the timeline really easy enough said it can be copied but but in this video i really want you guys to know also the use of fusion composition so let's get the help from fusion composition so in order to get in order to get the fusion composition all you have to do is go to the toolbox select it and search in the search bar fusion composition so you can get this fusion composition you can see the fusion composition here drag it to our timeline and just match it with our clip okay so you can see that fusion composition is nothing but a black video <laughs> because this is because we have actually not done anything in this fusion composition it's much like a blank slate or people who have worked in after effects would have known the null object inside after effects it's much like that so it doesn't have any value or any information right now so if you want to do any kind of effects inside fusion you need to have fusion composition at least or or you should have a video if you want to make any animation inside fusion without having any video note then fusion composition is the go-to so let's go to the fusion composition and switch to our fusion page okay we are in fusion page this is actually what is a fusion composition it will only have one node which is media out in order to make a custom fog effect the first thing that we need is the fast noise node which is actually here if you see closely you can add the fast noise node and connect to the media out so if you don't want to do this you can as well as press ctrl and space and type in fast noise and you can add this this fast noise is actually a 3d fast noise we are not making a 3d fog right now we are going for the 2d one this one and we are adding this one here okay now you can see that this is the fast noise node which is much like a fog but it's kind of static in this fast noise you can see that inside the inspector tablet which if you don't have you can as well as click this inspector to make this inspector tab pop up and you can as well as change anything here to make your custom fog effect you can change the contrast and you really want to make your fog to your own liking so i'm just tweaking the values here and there for my liking and i think this is a really good fog for me right now now this is a static fog 
So in order to make make this in motion, you have to increase the teeth rate. Teeth rate is much like randomization inside After Effects. So if you increase it much, it will randomize really fast. If you increase it to zero, it won't go anywhere. So I don't really want I don't really want any value more than 0 0.06. So I'm just trying to get a really good realistic fog. So Okay, this is really good, I guess. So I'm just trying to watch it with the video. So you can see that the fog is moving. Okay, in this video, the one thing that we have to tackle is the motion of the fog or the motion speed of the fog that we are going to create must align to the motion of the fog that is present inside the video. In this case, the motion present inside the video is red and what we are making is now white. So let's just play back here to see the speed of the fog. Okay. If you look closely, I think the speed of the fog should be a little bit more. So I'm just going to the fusion tab and increasing the teeth rate by a little more. Okay. Yeah, I think this is a really good speed for the fog to move because this fog as well as this fog is actually moving in the same rate, I guess. So the next thing is to add a mask. So we're going back to the fusion composition and adding a little mask or a rectangular tool here. Okay, I'm just stretching the rectangular tool and just softening the edges. If you don't know about masking, I'll make a separate video about what type of masks are there in Resolve and what all you can do with masking alone. So I'm just increasing the border width and let me go back to the video. Okay, I think it's cool. I'm just zooming in and just positioning it down and adding a little bit of rotation so that it will be more realistic. Okay. I think this is really cool. So this is actually the custom fog effect which you will get inside any, uh, which you will get in the internet, which is a white fog. Till here, we have actually made a fog which is much equivalent to the fog which, which is much equivalent to the fog effect which we can download from the internet. Not a really big change, right? So, but the ability of the custom fog to really blend with the environment or blend with the video is immense why because if you go to the fusion composition again and if, for here it's actually a red fog so if you see in the video it's actually a red fog so i really want this white fog to change to red so simply so the easiest way is goes to so easiest way to do that is go to the fast noise node and go to the color tab here and just change the color and you get a red and you get a red fog and you get the red fog i don't think it's a really i don't think this fog is actually blending into the video so i'm just changing it here and there so i'm just taking this video to play in this second viewer so that i get a reference on how the fog is actually looking and I'm selecting back to the fast noise. Okay. Okay. I think this is a really good. I think this is a really good one. Uh, but I think color is actually. So I think this is a really good fog effect here, but it's not really blending in. So I'm just changing a little bit here and there so that I'm just changing the color. I'm just changing the composition mode from normal and trying out which will really work. I think screen will be the best one. So I'm going for screen, multiply, overlap, in saturation, screen, yes. 
I think screen is working but there is a lot of white background here so I'm just changing the white background to black so that the screen will actually work and let's see yes it's actually working but I think it's not actually going for the fog effect so I'm actually adding a little bit of white background here and yes I think that is really cool I'm just changing a little bit here so that it really blends into the object okay background width should be there so till here we have actually made the fog work for the final secret sauce is to add a little bit of motion blur so if you want to add a motion blur it's really simple just go to the last tab here and add motion blur the, uh, the value here is much good for, the value here is much good for me if you want to increase and decrease the motion blur you can actually do it by changing the value here for now i think this is really good for me and let's see the video now you can see this video with the fog the, with the custom fog that we have made and this is the video without the custom fog that we have made okay now we have seen the ability of our custom fog to actually change the color now let's actually see how much we can actually change our custom fog for this we are taking this video which is kind of a road trip video so we are going to take our custom fog effect to play on this video which is kind of a really completely different video and we are going to make a fog overlay on this one so i'm just taking a in point here and an out point right here and just placing this video on my timeline so if you can see instead of moving the fog effect i'm just duplicating the fog effect uh, you can really easily duplicate any clip inside fusion by just pressing alt and dragging with the mouse button and leaving it anywhere it will duplicate the clip so this is the custom fog effect which we have made earlier which is kind of red so i don't really red really doesn't merge with the video right now so i really want to change that so so select the fusion clip go to the fusion page and go to the fast noise color tab and change the our color back to white okay it's a white fog it really blends but it's not actually really blending the video so in order to do that go to the fusion page again use or so this is actually the concept of masking so so if you know masking really well the possibilities of making custom fogs are infinite to you so here i am actually not going for a rectangular mask instead i am going for the polygon mask so that i can have a really rough and a vague mask so the output that we are trying to get is kind of a cloud overlay or something like that or So the effect that we are trying to create here with our custom fog is kind of a drone shot wherein the drone is actually coming from the clouds to capture the moving car inside the shot. So with the help of our polygon tool we have actually created a rough overlay like this and I'm just going to invert the mask so that the mask is like this and adding a soft edge here. If you guys out there are not actually getting what I'm doing right now here, don't worry. If I go to the edit page, you will get what I'm actually seeing. Still not really comfortable, right? <laughs> that is because we have actually transformed this fog here to... So we have actually transformed this fog here to be on the lower portion here. So that transformation info is actually here also because we have duplicated. So, so we are going to undo that transformation here. Sim so the simplest way to do that is go to the inspector go to the transform node and click this button here which is the reset button if you reset that now you can see that the fog is actually like this now you can see that the fog is actually like this but it's not really realistic so in order to make this really realistic i'm actually adding a little bit of motion here and there 
So I'm making a keyframe on the first frame of the fog effect, playing till the end, adding a keyframe and just zooming in a little. Okay, same thing, I'm taking the video, adding a keyframe here and going for the first frame where we had the keyframe select the video add another keyframe and go to the last keyframe and just zoom in a little bit so essentially what we did here is add a zoom keyframe on our fusion note as well as our video note okay now if you see our custom fog effect is actually really good so if you want to tweak it a little bit here and there you can go to the fusion composition and tweak a little bit of fast noise increase a little bit and add a little bit of motion blur and let's see what is happening yes so this is how we make a custom fog effect inside davinci resolve